Imagine having the power to manage your prostate health by simply changing what you eat. This may sound too good to be true, but the reality is that diet plays a significant role in our overall health, including the health of our prostate. Research has shown that certain foods can exacerbate an enlarged prostate, making symptoms worse. This is due to the fact that some foods can trigger inflammation, which can increase the size of the prostate. On the other hand, healthy foods can help reduce inflammation, leading to better prostate health. The key here is understanding the foods to avoid and the foods to embrace. It's about making informed choices that not only taste good, but also promote health and well-being. It's about taking control of your health, one meal at a time. By understanding the foods to avoid, you can actively manage an enlarged prostate, helping to reduce symptoms and improve your quality of life. First on our list of foods to avoid is red meat and dairy. Now you might be wondering what's wrong with a juicy steak or a slice of cheddar? Well, it's not so much about the foods themselves but their frequency in our diets. Research suggests that high consumption of red meat and dairy may contribute to prostate enlargement. A study published in the American Journal of Epidemiology found that men who consumed the most red meat had a 23% higher risk of developing an enlarged prostate compared to those who ate the least. Similarly, a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed a link between high dairy intake and increased risk of prostate enlargement. These findings don't mean you need to completely eliminate these foods from your diet, but moderation is key. So consider reducing your intake of red meat and dairy to improve your prostate health. Next, we have two popular beverages, alcohol and caffeine. Both of these can be a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to our health. On one hand, they might make us feel good in the moment, but on the other, they have the potential to irritate the bladder, especially if you're dealing with an enlarged prostate. See, alcohol acts as a diuretic, which can increase the frequency of urination, exacerbating symptoms of an enlarged prostate. Caffeine, while it might kickstart your day, can also stimulate the bladder, leading to an increased need to urinate. This can be particularly problematic at night, leading to interrupted sleep due to frequent bathroom trips. And let's be honest, nobody wants their sleep cycle disrupted. So, while it may be a bit difficult to hear, cutting back on alcohol and caffeine can make a significant difference. Consider swapping out that nightcap or morning coffee for a hydrating glass of water or herbal tea. Your prostate and your sleep might just thank you. While it may be hard, cutting back on alcohol and caffeine can make a significant difference. Spicy foods and foods high in sodium are next on our list. Now who doesn't love a good kick of spice in their meal, or perhaps a sprinkle of extra salt for that added flavor? However, for those dealing with an enlarged prostate these might not be the best options. Research suggests that both spicy foods and high-sodium foods can aggravate the urinary tract. This may lead to increased discomfort, especially for those already experiencing discomfort due to an enlarged prostate. The capsaicin in spicy foods, for instance, can irritate the bladder and exacerbate urinary symptoms. Similarly, sodium can cause water retention, which might put additional pressure on the bladder, leading to increased frequency and urgency of urination. So, as much as you might enjoy that extra kick or flavor, it might be worth considering a milder diet. Opt for low-sodium alternatives and try to limit your intake of spicy foods. Remember, reducing your intake of spicy foods and sodium can lead to less discomfort. Sugar and processed foods are another two to avoid. Now you might be asking why is that? Well let's break it down. Sugar is an inflammatory substance. Consuming large amounts of it can lead to inflammation throughout the body including the prostate. This inflammation can exacerbate the symptoms of an enlarged prostate, causing discomfort and potentially worsening the condition. On the other hand, processed foods often contain high levels of sodium and artificial ingredients which can also contribute to inflammation. Additionally, these foods often lack the necessary nutrients that our bodies need to function properly and maintain good health. Just think of it this way, when we fuel our bodies with whole nutritious foods, we give it the tools it needs to fight off inflammation and disease. But when we fill it with processed foods and sugar, we're doing the opposite. So, the takeaway here is clear. Opt for whole foods instead of processed ones, and consider reducing your sugar intake. Lastly, we have eggs and poultry. Now you may be wondering, how could these seemingly harmless foods contribute to an enlarged prostate? Well let's dive into the science behind it. Research has shown that a diet high in eggs and poultry can potentially lead to an enlarged prostate. It all boils down to the high levels of cholesterol and saturated fats found in these foods. 
These elements can stimulate the production of certain hormones that may increase prostate size. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that men who consumed two and a half or more eggs per week had an 81% higher risk of lethal prostate cancer than those who consumed less than half an egg per week. When it comes to poultry, the story isn't much different. High consumption of skinless poultry has also been linked with an increased risk of prostate enlargement. Consider reducing your intake of eggs and poultry to improve your prostate health. In conclusion, diet plays a crucial role in managing an enlarged prostate. We've explored how various foods impact this condition, from red meat and dairy, laden with saturated fats, to alcohol and caffeine which can stimulate the bladder and worsen symptoms. This journey through the dietary landscape highlights the power of informed choices in managing health. It's not about deprivation but about being conscious of what we consume. It's about empowering ourselves through knowledge and making decisions that favor our well-being. If you found this information useful, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with others.